this is inside the new city. Mm -hmm. You see it already? Yes. This is just where people live. Flowers, mm -hmm. gardens, no slums, no street people, no hungry people. The monorail goes to the middle there. Mm -hmm. The middle building is a computer and it operates a city. But it's not one computer, it's like six on separate circuits. Okay. If one dies, the next one takes off. So up. it's like a backup system. You Always have backup. Inbuilt, okay. So this is just a trip through the city. The city has a window cleaners that go around taking this. I was thinking, is that a machine that's doing it? You don't need a guy cleaning it. Mm -hmm. right yeah, that would be a lot of work, wouldn't it? <laughs> this is the monorail going into the center yeah. building. This is the station where you get on the monorail. Mm -hmm. The center building is computerized. This is access to musical instruments, cameras, uh -huh. books, anything anybody wants in the city. Mm -hmm. But we recommend when you get back home, put your camera back mm -hmm. in the camera center. But that makes cameras available to everybody, no matter where you're at. Uh -huh. Now you can keep the camera if you want to. We recommend that you don't fill your closet with crap. Uh -huh. Just put it in the camera center. Right. Right. So you can check out a violin, so you can a borrow saxophone, stuff. Uh -huh. just like the library. Oh, okay. The That's library a good is idea. free, you know, to pay. Uh -huh. Only books and videos, yeah. but this one for everything. If like you bicycles. make things available, you uh -huh. have nobody hitting you on the head, right. taking your watch. Right. It's right. cheaper to give them a watch mm -hmm. and put them That's in jail for four years. That's true. That's a thousand watches. Right, you know, right. Feeding, metal, kick in. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you understand that rotary brush cleans the windows with all Yes, yes. Okay. All rooftops are either gardens or solar generators. Okay, and the windows are too, you said, solar generator? Uh, yeah, everything. Windows. Okay. This airplane fits into that and makes up one airplane. Okay. When it lands, the passenger section is unloaded. Uh-huh. And it is going down to the air terminal. Okay, okay. Here it picks up a full passenger section uh -huh. right away. Uh -huh. If you have to wait oh, a half see. hour uh -huh. for everybody to get out of the airplane, the airplane does not need to rest. Mm -hmm. People do. Mm -hmm. So it, well, you have no loading or unloading. Oh, okay. It's just loaded with fuel. And then the airplane goes down into the air terminal. Yeah. Now this is a helicopter with a blade going around, not the center. Mm -hmm. Just these. Uh, and this turns up like a rudder right. when it's going this way. Okay, so now to become more aerodynamic? Yeah. Uh -huh. Could you explain how that would work, uh -huh. that, that heli? Yeah. Just in case emergency, if fire breaks mm. out in that unit, this could propel itself off that unit into water. Oh, now, and it becomes like a boat. You've flown an airline. Yeah. They tell you under the seat is right. a life raft. A cushion, yeah. You pull it out, put it on. Yeah. They show you how. Well, they don't tell you if you land in the North Sea, you'll live 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. no so we don't want people going in the water with mm -hmm. a life raft. Mm -hmm. This unit is sealed, mm -hmm. has food and everything else. That unit we don't care about. That's the power plant, uh -huh. the gasoline. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, now, when the airplane is coming in for landing, first time, the landing gear comes down. Mm -hmm. You know that, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. now, if the landing gear doesn't come down, it's going to spark on the runway, like a bounce, and the fuel is going to ignite. Most people, according to statistics, are not killed in air crashes. They're killed by fire. So, whenever a plane's coming out, if the landing gear doesn't come down, that blows the fuel out. That fact that it didn't come down blows the fuel out. That lessens the chance of danger. You understand that? Okay. That's what that's about. Mm. But if it lands and the brakes fail, which sometimes happen, mm -hmm. the plane kills people, goes in the building, sets it on fire. When the brakes fail, that makes a net come up mm -hmm. on the runway, mm -hmm. yes. stainless steel. Mm -hmm. It's all along the runway a net can come up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, so prevent failure of the brakes and injuring people. You understand? Yes. C could you explain how the, the helicopter design would work? Because I, oh. how, how would that sense of I didn't want to give the details, but there's a cable connecting this wing straight, a triangle, mm -hmm. which 
takes the load off. It distributes the load to all the centers in the wing. The helicopter, these are areas where the blades flex. Yes. You know what uh, pitch control means? When the blade is advancing, it has less pitch. The blade going away has more pitch. That's called cyclic pitch control. Yes. It goes around, and when it gets to a certain elevation, it could shut off the rotation and propel it forward. The helicopter is inefficient going forward. Yes. But if you freeze the blades, just get up as high as you want, then turn your propellant backward. Ion propulsion. Mm. The helicopter flies out right now. And the elevators are back here. I don't want to give all the detail mm. because people will take out yeah, that. Yeah. How much does it cost? Or, I mean, we have the resources. Mm. Right? That's the question. Not yeah. how much will it cost. Right. Do we have the resources? Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you're on an island with two million dollars and there's no water, mm -hmm. no fish, mm -hmm. no arable land, you have nothing. So money is a nothing thing. In the future, there'll be no money. The only thing that counts is the well-being of all the Earth's people. But if you don't do that, if you decide to make Siberia or any country self-sufficient, it'll be invaded by those that don't have water. And if few countries control most of the Earth's resources, you cannot have peace. Now, I'm just saying, if you are in a world without war, without hunger and poverty, you have to change the way people think. If you fail to do that, I don't care how nice you are, you'll have trouble. So it's a, not a question of going to church. The question is how do you overcome problems like crime. Most crimes are due to lack of access. Instead of, if you ask a normal person, what do you want? You say, well, I want a job. They don't want a job. They want access to the materials of sustainability. But they think they want a job. So nobody owns anything in the future. There are automobiles for your use, bicycles, lots of lots of sailboats. You just go down, go out with your family, no filling out forms or getting along with fresco. You understand what I mean? It's there for your use. I got all these ideas from the human body. If the brain says, I do all the thinking, I want all the nutrients. If the lungs could talk, they say, if you don't give me what I need, I can't put oxygen in your brain. So the brain says, what do you need? Everything you need. Then the kidneys, if they don't filter the blood, you die. So every organ in your body gets whatever the hell it needs. Same with people. They think I got this in communism. Communism uses money, it has prisons, police, m navy, army, political stratification. We don't have any of that stuff. There's is nothing that? in common mm. with any system. So how is that possible without any authority to monitor well, the this people's behaviors? Falls. It's dying all over the world, people being laid off. Let's say the Venus Project does not occur, okay? As long as industry keeps automating, you know what that means? The machines in automobile <coughs> that pick up the automobile, put the wheels on. Where you had 2,000 people, now you got 30 people working. And that's going to continue. And the majority of people are displaced by coffee machines and machines. They want the money to buy products. That's a debt to the money system. I don't have to do anything. Every system reaches its ultimate. You think you understand that? If you keep automating, who the hell's going to have money to buy things? And if you're going to give people money to buy things, the whole system is defeated. Do you think that the downturn, the economic downturn that's happened in the last yes, years... Yes, this is, is the end. ...is because of this automation? This is moving continuously down. But one of the reasons of it is because of all the automation that's been taking now, place. one is the reason. The other is outsourcing to China. Yeah. And China is now having trouble. Yeah. And uh, 
All the nations are having trouble. They're trying to bail out. Uh, India's having trouble. But India turns out a lot of engineers. Yes. And they go to America because they can make $100 a week. They used to make $100 a month. So the Americans hate Indian engineers. You understand? Yes. When Filipinos come to America, they work for half the amount of money. Yes. So Americans get angry at the Filipinos. It's not the Filipinos. It's the whole damn thing. It's no so race prejudice is based upon other people like Chinese coming this country working for less. So let's get rid of the goddamn chinks or the goddamn Irishman. Whoever it is that takes your job away. You understand if Irishmen come here and work for less, people get mad at the Irish. That is not the problem. So race prejudice is based upon working for less money than the people in the establishment. A lot of Mexicans are coming into America, taking farm jobs, and the guys are getting mad at the Mexicans. That is not the problem. The problem is taking care of them. In the city, there are tennis courts uh -huh. surrounded by gardens, yes. always. And this is the center of that's the monorail, see it? So, the monorail is between cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, when we finish a city, say that city has 20,000 people, uh -huh. we stop. Uh -huh. And between cities, everything goes back to nature like it used to be. Oh. So, so no the city is up against the other. Okay. So, and this so. is the housing area. Lakes and, water. and uh, the purpose of the water, all the water, is just in case emergency if we need to pump water for fire, which we don't have anything you can burn. Mm -hmm. So we have it for redundancy. Okay. All the nations that join us will take, will be part of the food reserve system. As you grow more and more food, if it's surplus, you dehydrate it. And you store it in the North and South Pole, under the metal containers. If there's an earthquake in Japan, you don't have to go to school and say, bring in a box of oatmeal, bring in a can of beans. They have access immediately to food without going through government agencies and get the okay of Congress and President. All of that crap is gone. They can act immediately. They're called special contingencies. They have the right to act immediately without going through bureaucracy. Hollywood tells you, and roboticists, people that study that, are afraid that the machines are going to take over. That's true. Many now that's afraid. not true because the machines have no feelings. Mm -hmm. If I smash your laptop in front of 50 new computers, they'll say, we'll get you if it isn't this week or three weeks. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Mm -hmm. Now, if you work your computer Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, says, give me a day off, will you? That's human, mm -hmm. not machines. Machines don't want to take over. They have no ambition. They don't want to control anybody. That's Hollywood makes machines that choke the society. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, uh, it isn't a machine takeover that I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, Doppler radar. When you look out of an airplane, you say I'm about a mile high. Mm -hmm. Doppler radar goes down, hits the ground, goes back and tells you you're 5,335 feet, six inches off. No human can do that. So all airplanes will be equipped with Doppler radar. They are not today. All army planes, because man can't look out of an airplane and say it exactly. So about nine months ago, the record was for machines, 1,000 trillion bits of information per second. 
Now, no group of humans can do that. So the machines will be in the middle, connected to agriculture, transportation, everything. Their tentacles will be out. In, today, they're into other people. You can contact your friend in California. In the future, the major government machines are connected to all the social sequences. We say, how many cases of heart disease are there? 8,490. How big a hospital do we need for that? It'll tell us that. You don't have common, what do you think, what do you think? You just do, everything is based on survey, mm -hmm. the, or the carrying capacity of the earth. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. How much arable land do you have, how much water do you have? That determines how big your cities can be. Fresco doesn't make those decisions. It's based all on survey. So who maintains the center computer? Um, the central control. I, who it's, manufactures it? Who controls it? It's just it's completely so sustainable. Out into agriculture. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't rain for three months, it pumps water out there. Okay, so this is just that you don't need to upgrade it's a program inside? It's a inside. mechanical nervous system mm -hmm. to take care of people and the environment. Do you, do you know that there's, there's a seed bank on Svalbard in, in the Arctic? There's a seed bank where they store all the seeds of every, all the plants. But they yeah, they're just doing that. But That's been in our system for years. Yes. It's been on the internet. We've been talking about it for years. That's but, where they got why it. Aren't, because when you, why aren't they storing food surplus as well? Because that seems just a hundred years ago we had... Well, they will eventually, but, if, yeah. but if they don't kill each other first. Yes. I don't know what the future will be. All I can do is say, yes. this is what we can do. If the public does nothing, nothing will happen. Yes. When I speak to 500 people, they all say, that, I say, don't do that. Go out and talk to other people. If you do nothing, nothing will happen. The Venus Project doesn't want to hurt anybody, kill anybody. I really believe that capitalists, industrialists, will live better under the Venus Project than under the money system because there'd be medical research in heart disease, cystic fibrosis, heart coronary problems, you know, all kinds. We will do research in the prime effectors that are negative to all people. Hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, that's what we do. We solve those problems, we're not killing each other. That's ass backwards, because if you kill people, you build hatred. It, over time, you killed my brother and my parents 20 years ago, I'll never forget that. So war is the wrong way. But to the Pentagon, they think they're protecting their nation. They really do. They're so misinformed. Now, we want to make a major motion picture showing what the world could be and the way it was. And somebody asked me, will there be horror movies in the future? All you have to do is show a movie of the present day. That be <laughs> really? <laughs> to normal people. Uh -huh. That's just uh, true. So, what you call right and normal is not right or normal. Okay. So that's a rough idea. And that all of these are just conceptual. Mm -hmm. By the time we get there, it'll be better than this. So right now, you're trying to make a movie and uh, to, to show, show how we get from here to real. there. Yeah, this can and be manifested. Take people on a trip around the world, showing them what the future could be. Mm -hmm. India with the Ganges River will be beautiful canals and mm -hmm. flowers and no more poverty people mm -hmm. begging yeah. or sleeping in the street. Mm -hmm. If you say, I don't like the Venus Project, there's something wrong with you because there's nothing in it to hurt anybody. We don't want to kill capitalists and communists and socialists. We just don't have the conditions that generate serial killers. You know what I mean? We get rid of the conditions. Now, most normal people don't know what those conditions. They think they're born that way. He's a murderer, he's a nice guy, she's a, a sadist, and he's a murderer too. All of those are made by society. If you don't understand me, if you live near a waterfall or drinking water, you don't come at night and fill the cans, he'd take it over here. It's scarcity that produces that. Most problems are produced by money. Like a wife says, I've been wearing the same dress for months, honey, I need a new dress. He says, honey, I need a brake job on the car, I can't get the work. So you get your dress next month. 
comes in, his kid gets sick. He needs a break job, you take the kid to the doctor. If I don't get to work, I can't pay off. So conflict, argument. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. have conflict resident resolvers in this society. Psychiatrists and psychologists a real group of assholes because they try to adjust you to this society. Anybody that does that's got to be stupid. Roughly, that's the problem.